morning everybody and once again welcome back to the video in this video i'll basically talk about bootstrapping in apache hoodie and how you can leverage uh, uh, apache hoodie bootstrapping so again um bootstrapping in a very simple way i'm explaining not throwing any technical big terms is bootstrapping is again a way to bring data into apache hoodie so if you have already existing data in your data lake, let's say you have parquet files or whatever that is, right? If you want to bring those data into a transactional data lake or if you want to convert them into a transactional data lake, Hoodie offers a feature called bootstrapping. There are two ways to do that. A is metadata only. So if you have large amount of, massive amount of, um, you know, historical data, you can essentially basically use the metadata only, which means Hoodie will only create the metadata uh, for your files. And the second one is full record, which means Hoodie is basically gonna uh, convert all your ex existing file into a Hoodie format, okay? So let's take a look at a small demo. Uh, so hopefully this concept should be clear. Again, you can find more details on Hoodie's website where they have given all the steps in the detail, okay? So again, as I was explaining you on the um, on the on the video, right? There are two options. If you if you re come and read here, metadata only and full records, right? So we uh, for this lab we are gonna do the full records. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So before we begin the lab, um, so you uh, we wanna pretend that you have some existing parquet files. For that purposes, I have a link, a Google Drive link. So what you would do is you wanna go to the link. And as soon as you go to the link, you will find two Parquet files. You want to download these Parquet files on a computer and then essentially upload there on S3. So let's do that particular part. Back to my screen. And here you can see I made a folder called Parquet files. And here I have uploaded these two Parquet files, which I just downloaded from the Google Drive link. So now you can basically check the data. So you can see, uh, click on Apache uh, Parquet and click on JSON. And again, this is how the data looks like. It's a sample data from my past project. Now, what we need to do is we need to do a bootstrapping action, which means I'll show you how to um, basically submit a, a bootstrap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all make sure uh, to show you my screen. Again, I don't have any hoodie folders over here, right? So what I will do is I'm going to walk you over to the code base. Now. Okay, so back to the code. Uh, again, this is pretty straightforward. I don't need to explain. I'm creating a border 3 client object and I'm going to submit a job to EMR serverless. This is a Lambda function. Okay. Uh, here I'm defining a glue database, uh, here I'm defining a table name, here I'm defining an operation, here I'm defining the table type, here is my record key, which means inside my parquet file, my uh, invoice ID is going to be my unique identifier, pre-com key is used for dedo purposes, so I'm going to use a column called destination state, again, just use anything, the goal is to basically teach you the concept, right, so th th that's the goal. Target path, again, this target path means where do you want the hoodie to build your transactional data like, so I'm going to make in a folder called hoodie. A raw path, this is the path to your existing parquet files and your mode can be too, that is full records or metadata only. So I'm gonna use full records. Um, this is my uh, EMR uh, application ID, this is my uh, ARN and then basically all I'm doing here, observe carefully, I'm gonna use a class called Delta Streamer. So you can see uh, org.apachehoodie.utilities.deltastreamer.hoodie.deltastreamer, right? So I'm gonna use that particular class and if you observe in the arguments, right, these arguments, um, again, I have copied from Hoodie's website and I have added certain extra fields uh, to make it work. So for example, uh, again, these are pretty standard one, record key, pre -call. Again, it's, it'll be given to you, so you don't have to worry. So here is the mode that I was talking about. So you can play with that. You can either do full records or metadata only, but let's see this actually in working. That, that's when you would, you know, enjoy, right? Uh, seeing, seeing things in action. So now we have the existing parquet files. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the manage application and I'm gonna submit this job in a second. Uh, quickly come here. Meanwhile, that's starting. So we can uh, basically, I'm gonna right click on this Python and uh, run that. And here you can see the job has been submitted. So if I come here, here you can see one job is in the pending state. Let me resume the video once the job is in the running state. So the job is, as you can see now, is in the running state. So I'm just gonna wait for the job to complete. And again, I'm gonna pause the video and resume once the job is complete. So let's see if it's complete or not. So I'm gonna refresh. So again, it's it's still in the running state. So I'm gonna wait here to for the job to complete. Uh, meanwhile, we'll go to S3 and see if we have some files. I'm gonna refresh here. And here you can see we do have some Huri metadata and we have these partitions. 
which we define uh, these are the state and then here inside each partition we have our base file so basically if you observe we have successfully used the bootstrapping feature in hoodie uh, we had some parquet files assuming we had some um, you know parquet files in, in the past and we wanted to be essentially bring that into a transactional data lake so we were able to use uh, apache hoodie bootstrap feature uh, the job should also complete in a second yeah there you go it, it is success so yeah this is how you can use a bache hodi bootstrap feature to essentially uh, bring data into your transactional data lake thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know